Hello and welcome back to my channel. I haven't posted a video in a while, but here is one on the topic of minimalism. And it's all about five things, five, five things that I no longer buy. And the first thing I'll go into, why my hand is like this, because it's quite a helpful way of demonstrating it, is nail polish and nail related stuff. So you may notice my nails aren't great, they're not great, but I don't care anymore. I don't care. I used to think that one must, if I am a lady, if I am to call myself a woman, then I must have the, this bit of my finger a different colour to the rest of my finger. That was important to me. I would sit down to paint my nails and find it <laughs> an incredibly stressful experience because if you make a mistake on your nail, it doesn't just go away. You, you fix and you fix and then, and it's not fixed. It will never be fixed. I would never have the patience or the time to start again. So I would end up with these horrific, terrible excuses for nails and <laughs> holding them up like this. The idea of, first of all, allotting that amount of time to paint my nails carefully and then sit there for half of my life waiting for them to dry. Oh, I was not on board with that whole thing. And then inevitably I would get bored and I would wander off somewhere and try and use my hands and then ruin what was already pretty bad in the first place. I remember, this is me holding my nail polishes. I thought, I hate you. I don't enjoy using you. Goodbye. And then I, I discarded them. The second thing that I no longer buy is a TV package. I got rid of my TV because I didn't want to pay the license fee. I realized how much of my time was being just wasted by sitting and watching bloody come down with me and half of my day would be gone. I'd have achieved nothing. Getting rid of it was one of the best decisions I ever made and I save so much money. The third thing I no longer buy is shampoo and certain body products like body washes or oh, that kind of thing because I make my own and I will make a video about what I use but I'm very interested in this whole no poo movement you know just washing your hair with water type thing but I am terrified of the stage where you look like crap for <laughs> however many months I don't want that to I don't I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for that. I make my own natural shampoo. I mean, the initial cost isn't cheap. You do have to um, spend a little bit on that. But once you've made that purchase, you're good to go. The fourth thing that I no longer buy, and this is quite specific um, for people who have vaginas, and that is I no longer buy any sort of sanitary towel, tampon type things because I use the menstrual cup and it's just so much better for the environment better for my wallet, better all around. It's an all rounder. The final thing that I no longer buy is bits of crap disguised as home furnishings. I love Ikea. I love the aisle in any supermarket with the cushions. You know the one I mean, might have candles on it. Little, little tiny porcelain animals, love all that, but why? Why am I spending my money? Because they're not cheap. I remember I bought my friend, again, this was before I was doing, you know, thoughtful gifts. I just bought it because I thought she'd like it. Tiny plate with a hedgehog on it. Six pounds for a hedgehog plate. Display only. Couldn't use it as a plate. The amount of clutter I ended up getting rid of when I went down the whole minimalist route that was, you know, very similar to hedgehog plate was pretty incredible. And there you go, they are the five things that I no longer buy. And I hope you're all having a lovely day. It's very nice to see you again. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, what else do people say? Yeah, Go goodbye.